And we're live. The price of pot is tumbling in Colorado. Um, I saw that. I read a, that article. A That's... pound of cannabis, this is October, so almost a full year ago, was about 2500 And now it's about 1500 nearly in half. So you're telling me things get more affordable when you take them out of the black market and let competition take place? I don't believe that. It turns out know. to be true. Um, uh-huh. It's interesting. Man, I, I, this isn't really a, a bold position, but the prohibition on pot is turned out to be a real problem. It's done more harm than good. And oh, yeah. I, I see the rest of the country just tumbling in that direction. It, it, oh, yeah. There's, there's multiple states that vote on it this time around. Uh, Florida, Arkansas, I think Maine and maybe Maryland. I think Maryland already did, and it's about to go into effect. But I think maybe Maine is voting. Oh, there was a whole list. It was a bunch of them. And they're either voting for full legalization like California is, which would be, you know, it's like the world's eighth or ninth largest economy all of a sudden has legal marijuana, not just medical marijuana. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know there's like me- like really stringently controlled medical marijuana coming to Florida and uh, maybe Georgia, too. But it's always like, oh, yeah, you can use this kind of oil if you're about to die. But you can't bring the oil into the state, nor can you produce it in the state. So if you could magic up some marijuana oil, feel feel free to, to yeah. use it, you dying person. They voted on it in Missouri like four years ago, and it was just a resounding like, nope, nope, fuck you. Like whole middle of the state says no, hmm. which sucks. But eventually it'll just be so many states that all the rest kind of have to be like, all right, fuck it. Like now we're just losing a bunch of money. Which makes, like, some states do that. One of my buddies, or I had quite a few friends, uh, there's a college in Kentucky, uh, Murray State. And at Murray State, it's in a dry town. And so you can't just go out to a store and buy booze. And so what do they have to do? Everybody at that university with, like, a couple 10,000 people will drive across state lines, spend a ton of money in the adjacent state county that sells alcohol, and then they come back. So it's like all that you've done is say, oh, we are so against booze in our county that we're going to let everybody here, basically tourists for four years because they're in school, spend all their money outside of our local economy, which is just stone cold retarded. Like why? It makes no sense. It's the same thing that's happening with marijuana. Like I feel like states should be like, come on, let's get this going. There's money to be made here. We want to be one of the like if Missouri got it, suddenly Illinois people are coming through fucking minnesota michigan thing, whatever though. like you're pulling tons of people in just like colorado you're missing it though see they're already making money off of it because of you know their prison systems and their law enforcement like they're already making plenty of money off illegal marijuana so uh, yeah yeah it's, it, and, and they and i think the way they're looking at it is like oh this our neighbors uh you know colorado here are bringing all this uh these these drugs into our state and all this crime into our state so they look at it like that they always take the moral high ground where's just the like, money to come like that's not making money, though, is it? it? It's not making money, but it's keeping jobs, right? So so you've got these police unions and all those groups who are like, oh, absolutely not. Do not legalize the thing that's keeping us in, in work. It'd be like if, the, if you know, you told janitors all of a sudden statewide, hey, no, you don't have to clean up vomit ever again. Like like one in three school janitors then loses their job, yeah, right? And, like, I, and I'm sure that water no fountain, more vomit yeah, to clean I'm, up. I'm sure that water fountain manufacturers threw a big hissy fit when they decided everybody could drink out of the same one. Because they're like, well, our business has gotten half. We oh, can't put two everywhere anymore oh. for blacks and whites. <laughs> like, you just have to get over that, I think. Like, one of them is, like, if you have pot there, people are going to start Plan spending is money. Invested in the water like, they're going to start, <laughs> like, having prisoners like getting incarcerated, it makes sense because they're, quote, making money from it, but it's also not stimulating the economy the same way that if people were buying a consumer good in those states. Like it's Colorado's one of them nuts. is to keep jobs in a, in a neat system that they like that they have. The other one is opening up a whole new world of commerce and different types of businesses and competition. I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting it's just to shitty. see the capitalism around it too, right? Because uh, I'm not an expert in pot, but apparently the raw bud is just not where the money's made anymore. It's in all the enhanced stuff, the cookies, the lollipops, the, 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 the I don't know, maybe the accessories like the bongs and the glassware and things like that. But the, the bud there's itself. Tons of stuff for sure. But then there's concentrates and edibles is what you're getting at, right? Um, yeah, but it, it seemed like it was more clever than just like cookies, you know, that people were doing 
stuff with it they, that they you have can't stuff do like, at home. They have like gummy bears and sucker. I have a couple friends who live in Colorado and mm-hmm. will send me pictures of stuff that they buy. And it, it looks like you walk into like the candy aisle at a CVS and just grab a bunch of stuff and they take a picture of that. And it's like, okay, you just show me a bunch of snacks, whatever. But there's little X's on it to show how much pot's in there. And it's like, this is a baby Ruth, but if I eat the whole thing, I'll probably have a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, 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 there's like the pot version of Gatorade and, and you know, things that, like I, I feel like Ew. people at home can make brownies. You see, I don't. I, I didn't even occur to me that it might taste bad. Uh, there's a taste that doesn't come out easily. Is that the scoop? I th- I've never had a pot Gatorade, so I have no idea. But that doesn't sound <laughs> like if you told me that. I, I don't know. That just sounds gross. Yeah, I believe that most edibles, whether you're buying them from a store or you're making them yourself, are going to have a rancid. They, they taste like they smell. I would say. Yeah, and know. pot doesn't have the best smell. But if I, you've I, ever smelled pot, you're usually just like, ah, oh, well, that's skunk. very pungent. Yeah, I know, it's skunky. I know a little bit about two things, right? Like with alcohol, only certain things are able to like mask that alcohol taste. And uh, another one is creatine. Like, um, and so I work with Gamma Labs, right? I like them a lot, G Fuel, et cetera. Well, they have another line that's for people who are exercising, like a pre-workout formula. And in that, they have fewer flavors because only some flavors are able to mask the creatine flavor. Whereas like, you know, if you take that out, all of a sudden there's every kind of like green, purple, orange drink. Creatine tastes like shit. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it does. And I've it makes got you uh, lemon lime so dehydrated. Yeah, you got to drink a ton of water. That's uh, there were kids that died from that. Their coaches, they would be on creatine and their coaches would have them out there like, you know, doing two a day <laughs> football practice and not giving them water. You dehydrate and fucking <laughs> die. Yeah. Or you are a college kid taking a bunch of creatine, but you're also not drinking enough water and getting hammered every night. And so your body's just like withering into a crispy husk of dehydration. I think think one of the things you you were maybe like referring to Woody is like some of the processes that they now use to obtain the, uh, the concentrates. Um, There's, there's CO2 processes and then there's um, butane processes. And then there's some other ones and there's, there's a big contraption that's going into creating those concentrates. We were watching a YouTube video the other day and they, they had created this, uh, it was it was 99.999% THC, and they were clear crystals that looked like meth. It was a clear crystal that looked like meth, and there were little granules, and he would take this little spoon, and he spooned up some of these, these this crystallized THC, and, and he poured it into his thing and smoked it. And oh, he was dripping, town. but first he, he dripped some terpenes on it for the flavor, it, so it was pretty ridiculous. What's yeah. That's what's like. Not, no, that's what I like about the Those idea. Those are like of the flavor notes being, of marijuana. I like the idea of weed being legalized as like that legal drug because it's like it's the not scary drug. You know, it's the one that like if you're walking around at a concert and you see people with like a scary looking like crack pipe, you're like, all right, we're standing not fucking here. We're gonna go stand somewhere else. If you see somebody with a joint, you're like, okay. More likely than not, they're gonna smoke that and then kind of sway back and forth and just be in a good mood. I'm not afraid. But I I don't know. I just don't like making it seem scary you right? know like f- like like white crystals and powder well, like when i see white crystals and powder i think scary drugs which is kyle- probably just a stupid dare campaign that seeped in but <laughs> that's when what kyle I said that I, I was like someone's gonna od on thc i know no one's ever no, od'd on thc impossible. you can't it, but I, I i don't it's know I, I just feel like if i it's just not a thing if i drank a coffee cup full of THC crystals, would I not die? <laughs> like, no, I, I don't think you would. I just don't think you would. Um, I, I think you could, I think if you ate a coffee cup full, I think a, a caffeine overdose, I think you could definitely overdose on caffeine and die long someone, before you would overdose no, on caffeine. If someone makes me a though. peanut butter and jelly sandwich and replaces the jelly with that fucking wax that people smoke, is that not going to kill me? You'd be me? fine. You'd be would, fine. Really? You, you, could OD yeah. on, you could OD on salt water so easily. You could go buy a bottle of, uh, like, a handle of Everclear, which is just, I don't know if you guys have that in your state. A lot of states don't have it, but it's Jersey just super, it. super concentrated grain alcohol, like 99%. Uh, mm-hmm. Blasted on grain alcohol. Like, you could kill yourself on that way yes. easier than marijuana. Like, people I, accidentally die from alcohol. I don't think you can kill yourself on marijuana, or you or someone would have done it by now. Like, 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 look at the society we live in with warning labels on shampoo and fingernail clippers and people having their cars burnt down, burn up by their iPhones, right? You like, like, have to pretend they're not for your ears. Thank you. Yeah, because, it, because of the legal ramifications <laughs> of suggesting that someone sticks something inside of their head. You just can't do it because people are so dumb and irresponsible. So if you could kill yourself with weed, 
someone would have killed themselves with weed by now. They just would have. Yeah, I, I'm thinking... Like, so. a dozen people die every year from vending machine accidents, right? Like, don't forget that. And then <laughs> transfer that to marijuana. Uh, those could be those, related. Yeah, that, those, that's an indirect <laughs> weed accident. Oh, like, Dr. Pepper! <laughs> like, it's definitely happened where, like, someone's probably gotten really, really high and then done something stupid, like... Oh, like, of course. Now, and, then, and then killed themselves. That's, that's marijuana, on marijuana related. How many people were trying to score some weed and the, the system pushed them into a scary neighborhood where they were then stabbed to death, you know? Yeah. Like, you could call that a marijuana-related death, but nobody has ever eaten... You, I bet you could eat... You could eat more marijuana than your, than your stomach could hold, and it still wouldn't matter. And it's got to be heated up to become psychotropic anyway. So, like, just eating that wax, while it would taste bad, I think, it, and maybe constipate you because you're, like, eating some sort of... You're eating wax, yeah. See, gunk. It wouldn't get you high at all. You know, you'd no, have to... I didn't to, know that. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that about wax either. I figured well, anyway. you could just eat it. I, I think I that what's happening in Colorado is super interesting. Like, you know, regardless of where you stand on pot, if you're at all interested in economics, like adding capitalism to this thing and legalization and, and watching what's happened. And, and they've taken it from these like, I don't know, crazy Mexicans growing it in the middle of a forest in like a tiny little plot and growing garbage to like scientists with grow lamps and indoor like, you know, perfect cultivation, you know, they, they, and guys who are just like really passionate about their flowers and they don't look like flowers to me, but you know, whatever, we'll go with it. Um, and, and, and now like drinks and lollipops and all that stuff is like the, where the money is made and, and the other stuff is just getting so cut rate that like you know the profit margins are down and it, it i don't know i'm just fascinated by what's happening with pot and and somehow colorado is still the pot state right like who else has legalized it alaska washington. i think did washington did um that's it you think it's just washington i think it's just washington and colorado i didn't i don't know about right? Alaska, but well, well, no. There's, so there's a difference between legalizing like the sale and and use of marijuana. Like, like everybody's got these weird different laws. But the two places yeah. that I know, you can just as as Joe Blow walk into you know a store and say, "Give me a you know an ounce of weed," and then walk out with it. I don't know if Colorado will give you an ounce, but you know what I'm saying. Colorado and, and Washington are the only ones that I know of. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong, but I'm looking at it right here. That it's Colorado, Washington, Alaska, and Oregon. Okay. Okay. Is that yeah. right? What are the two top left states in the? That's Oregon and Washington. Yeah, yeah. Washington's not top. So, we're gonna get this like weird time in the nation where like half of the it's legal in half the states and the other states is not, and then like you have to like you it's like kind of like buying fireworks. Like you're just gonna drive the nearest thirty miles. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna get weird. Yeah, fireworks are illegal in my state. <laughs> Mine oh, too. Yeah. But um, I, I don't know. I, I, but in my head anyway, Colorado is still the place. Like I don't see a lot of people taking like Washington uh, vacations. It's it's Colorado. It's ground zero. Yeah, it's ground zero. So when Maryland legalizes it, well, Maryland's maybe a little different because it's local to like like the New Yorkers and Philadelphia guys. It isn't medical Maryland. in Maryland. Oh, I don't. I, don't, I, I just yes, thought it was on the ballot to be fully legal. I don't. I, that seems super unlikely I, oh, really? I i thought they were getting medical marijuana because you know gun surgeon was going to be able to get it for his uh for his whole thing um yeah I, I think that's the reason that the reason it's big in colorado is a they were the early adopter they're the first ones who to do it and you know they've got the infrastructure already laid down when uh, there's a whole process for determining who can grow it who can sell it there's a limited number of licenses so they've already went through all that, all those processes and all those growing pains. And it seems like they didn't limit them at all because when we were out there, every single little podunk town had three dispensaries in it. Like three. In, like the town would not have a Burger King, but it would have three dispensaries. Did you see um, that yeah. Netflix documentary on, on it? No. Oh, it was super interesting. So it I was – you did – was it Breckenridge? Is that the name of the town? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I think it was. Breckenridge had a bunch of, I'll make it up, like three or four places that were on the main strip, the spot you really want to be to sell pot. And all but one went out of business while waiting for pot to be legal because it was expensive to sort of have a spot there. And it was, it was legal for medical, but they just turned away customers all day long. 
And then finally, the with one company left standing in the good spot, it became legal. And those guys became millionaires and started like exploding and investing in new things. But the town was just pressuring them all the time because they felt like it was a bad look that they didn't want on their like prestigious. I think what they were telling them was like, uh, we want you to have to move your shop over to this like other corner of town. Mm -hmm. And their big thing was like, okay, if we move to that part of the town, like this is Breckenridge, people come here on vacation and they walk around the strip and they go eat. Then they'll walk back to their hotel or walk back to their condo, whatever. Like if you put us over here, even though it's like only a couple miles away, nobody's going to go out. Like people are only going to like go to seek pot there. Nobody's going to do what naturally they would do. It would be like, Hey, let's go look around. There were like four or five stores and literally the one in on the strip got 80% of the sales and all the other ones hated it. They felt like it was unfair and that, you know, the sales would be evenly distributed at the edge of town. If you took the one that was sucking up all the sales away. And eventually that's what happened. They kicked them out of that area and, uh, and they had to go set up shop with the peons on the edge of town. The next five years is going to is going to I think marijuana is going to change big time. I, I don't I don't it's not that I have any faith in whoever's going to be president next, but just our culture is moving in a way that I don't think can be slowed down where the stigma around marijuana is, is decreasing every single day. And more and more people like like middle aged common sense kind of people are seeing the benefits and realizing that there just really aren't any drawbacks uh, when you when you when you look at this thing when it's practically put forward to you you know you look at the situation in Colorado with fewer uh, uh, underage drinking deaths and and few and less marijuana use for like that lowest a- of age groups they they're they made weed legal in the state but children are doing less of it you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, like. There's your proof, right? Because now it's like right? booze. You know, like y- regulated. You have to find. Yeah, it's regulated. You have to find someone to buy it for you if you're not of age. Same thing. We with always pot. said oh, that no. when we were in high school. Like, like it's so hard to score booze because nobody wants to. Like, like, like no adult wants to be the one to slip us a case of beer. No adult wants to buy me a bottle of vodka. But every, we all knew that you could go get weed easy because Crazy Mike's d- it, weed is illegal. So he'll sell it to kids. He'll sell it to adults. He's just trying to sell it. You know, he doesn't fucking care. He's trying yeah. to get rid of it so he's not holding on to this illegal substance anymore. He, he, yeah, sure, take it. It was yeah. always so much easier to get uh, to get marijuana than it would be to get alcohol. And, and we wanted alcohol. It was hard to get alcohol. 